What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. Today, we're taking a look at AFC Ajax, which is Monday, the 6th of March's selection. And look, I honestly do think that Timber is a monster, lads. He is a beast in the game. If you do not have him, I definitely recommend him. But you are going to be taking a chance on getting these players because you only have three chances of eight players to get. And look, you could get a few, a few players that are not going to make your team. Even an early start uh squad is going to be able to buy standard players that are kind of better than these players and i'm going to show you why in a second so if you do have a really good nominating version uh nominating contract version of um timber or you got that version of him way back when if you packed him before i definitely do recommend uh you know that you probably stick with him even though this guy looks like a monster because you can train him up in multiple ways but the rest of the players let's like I'm kind of torn, right, because they do release a, a couple of, like, poor players, like, you know, goalkeepers that are never going to be good enough um, to get into a decent squad. But if you are playing, you know, with a lower level squad or you're trying to try out a couple of different players, there are some interesting ones in here. The worst thing about this pack this week, I think, for instant use is that, you know, only Timber is on a B form with a goalie, uh, Rulli as well, that's on a goalkeeper B form. Um, but, you know, you're not going to be really using him, right? So we are going to start with Kudos. He is a 79 overall center forward. We've got two center forwards on this. We have Brabe as well. And the two of these have got some very, very good stats, some very, very good player skills. This guy has got inconsistent form. He is a whole player. So he does, you know, he's down as a registered position as a center forward. But I would say that he's more of kind of like a, an AMF, um, which he does have some unusual skills for a whole player. Now, I've gone on record like plenty of times before saying Pedri is probably the best whole player in the game, but you've also got a couple of other players that can, you know, do the job as a whole player as well for you if you play an AMF. And there's just so many AMFs. So I think if you are using him, you don't need to train up his shooting that much, even though he is down as a, you know, as a striker. I definitely think what you're going to probably want to do is use him as kind of like a run and gun all rounder. You can still have a bit of shooting, you can still have a bit of finishing, but it's mostly going to be pace. Um, you know, and he's just going to be a very well rounded 88 overall uh, player that we kind of train up here. So this is one version of him. You've got 82 dribbling, 82 speed, and then obviously the acceleration and kink and power. I don't think he's that good, to be honest. Even if you take away the passing here and you just pump, you know, more into dexterity um or dribbling you're not going to like with 12 points into that or even 10 points into that you're not even going to crack you know 90 on any of the stats there so i genuinely do think he's a very strange uh selection in this one i also think that brave here the center forward is more of kind of like a traditional kind of what works in e football 23 at the moment is kind of you know very central forward um you know physical attributes that are there that you don't really need to touch and you can just throw in as many stats as possible into his speed his acceleration his stamina his finishing you know they're fairly decent stats this guy is a super sub he does have standard form so you know obviously he's not going to be one of the meta center forwards in the game but if you are looking to play with an ix squad or are looking to play with an eredivisie squad this guy is pretty decent and he's a massive upgrade on his actual standard card some of the players aren't big upgrades this guy's got 45 levels as his standard card this one is 31 but the difference in the quality is big so i would say that he is probably worth it as a super sub if you do get him um but other than that in my opinion he's he's not really for the center forwards in it we've also got a left back on windal or Winjdal, is it Vindal? I think it's Vindal. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. But this guy is just a very kind of common left back as well. Look, he does have standard form. I think most of the players from Ajax, you're going to be crossing balls into the wings, right? Even with the wingers that we'll look at in a second, Burghaus and Burgwine, they're two of the players that you're going to be looking to get the ball into the box with, right? All of these players that you're going to see have got pinpoint crossing, an AI player styles early cross. This guy's got one touch pass as well. So as a left back, you can go two routes, right? The first route would be obviously to just completely discard his his defending and turn him into just, you know, an absolute speed monster up front and the passing obviously as high as you possibly can. That's going to be really kind of like a Roberto Carlos territory where you're going to have the acceleration, you're going to have the balance, you're going to have the stamina, the speed, and also the passing, which is in, you know, around the 80 mark, Right. I think with his weighted pass, true passing and one-touch pass, you're going to get away with not having his passing as high as it possibly needs to be. We've also got this guy, uh, Bergwijn, here as well. And uh, he's had a couple of versions, obviously, with a nominating contract one. Um, but this guy is at uh, an 80 overall. He's very, very similar to the Netherlands pack 
that they released and he's got 25 levels this one has got 25 levels as well and the only difference between that netherlands pack that they released and this current one that's been released for the club selection as you can see there when we hover over is this version actually has better speed this netherlands pack has better speed by plus three but minus three kicking power so i think the netherlands version is actually better um now this guy isn't bad either but again you're not going to be going for pure i think this probably this guy is probably the pick of him in terms of he's got the power he's got the pace he does have um pinpoint crossing as well as uh true passing so you don't need to pump up the passing as much even if you do you're only going to get into the 70s anyway and he is on d form as well this week which is a bit of a pity burkhouse one of my favorite players to play with in eFootball 2022 his card is extremely similar as well to his netherlands card so you can see there that this netherlands card the only difference between the card they're practically identical everything skills stats everything is identical apart from the netherlands card has plus three in offensive awareness and minus three in lofted pass and this one that's available now today monday has got better lofted pass and uh, less offensive awareness so you can kind of you know you can kind of see what they're doing with these cards obviously them both of them editions have got 90 play style proficiency as well this guy's got unwavering form as well he's got some nice player skills he's got early cross pinpoint cross and true pass and first time shot this guy can shoot quite a bit as well so we've pumped up his finishing and curl quite high and he's more of a kind of a slower based methodical player that you can play kind of pretty much like central as well so i do like that that you can play a prolific winger in you lose that little playing style boost but it's not really a big deal with the way the gameplay is at the moment right now usually when i'm taking a look at players we do take a look at players that can get the ball into the box and this guy tadic there's been a couple of versions of him as well um and we will take a look at him and then the goalkeeper and then timber to finish us off but this guy tadic lads i do like him i have him in my squad and i do like him but i just i find it difficult to play with him sometimes because he's kind of slower i find like that the players are either really fast or else the slower players are kind of like sluggish when you're on the ball with them now he's got some nice player skills obviously first time shot true passing heel trick soul control long range driving long range curling long range shooting um he's also got amazing run and long ranger for his play style for when the ai is controlling him if you do sim a lot of games but look at his stats man they're all like in the mid 80s for the main stats that you have the speed and acceleration is the one thing that you kind of miss out on here but playing him left wing crossing balls into a tall center forward you will get a lot of goals um just from knockdowns and interceptions and stuff like that uh so i do think that he is good now this version of him is an 81 overall but there's been multiple versions of him i think his standard version kind of tracks up quite well because you've got 29 levels compared to 25 so those extra levels can actually get you up with this card very you know well um we also have this version of him here which is practically identical um it's you know probably a better version of him that was here i think most people would have got this guy at the time um so i do think that he is a good version of him here we've also got our traditional goalie that they release in these packs 90 reflexes he's got long throw he's got penalty saver low punt not bad um form is standard so that's not bad either um they did release i think one of these packs before and then his standard version is quite different as well 29 levels to go he is on b form um but look all this pack is leading to timber right timber is probably the pick of this pack and I honestly think that Timber is one of the better center halves in the game, right? His stats are incredible. But even away from his stats, man, he's just so good. He's probably the best tackler in the game defensively. I would say him and Kunde. If you are struggling to tackle and let the AI defend for you, or not even defend for you, but if you're struggling to get a helping hand off the AI um, and you're used to playing with, you know, bigger kind of uh, center backs like uh, Van Dijk or Koulibaly, this guy will be life-changing or game-changing for you if you actually learn to play with him and learn what works for him, right? He's not the tallest, but he is super, super fast, super defensive, super aggressive. He's got excellent player skills, as you see here. Not only does he have interception, blocker, sliding, tackle, acrobatic clearance, and fighting spirit, he also has one-touch pass, which can get you out of a lot of difficulty when you are looking to get that ball out of the box and just spray it up the, up the field, right? Which is kind of what you need to do now because of the the changes to type possession with v2.4 right but we've trained him up we can train him up two ways right this is kind of version two of him um i would say um and i saw this build on eFootballDB's twitter so this is actually um the defensive side of him that you can get right so along with those player skills i would say that if you're looking for one of the easiest center backs to use you've got 80 acceleration 82 speed 
you've got 73 low pass, 71 ball control and dribbling, and then 95 awareness, 93 tackling, 95 aggression, and 92 defensive engagement, right? You will literally be able to use this center half in any squad. He's on B form. He's got every team play style you could possibly want. Unwavering form. Now, I think if you do manually defend a little bit, you don't need that defensive awareness as high. You can still keep the aggression quite high, but you can actually train this guy to be a more well-rounded player, right? I would pump up this tree to get that 70 physical contact up, and then I would also probably leave the body balance, the body strength at that, but I would pump up this acceleration, right? A lot of people don't like to pump up acceleration on their center halves. They kind of think it's meta and stuff like that. I would agree with that. I do think that you you kind of things have changed with V2.4. You don't need to train up. If you do get Timber, I'm spending a bit more time on him because I think he is the pick of the packs or the pick of the pack here. But you don't need to spend as many acceleration points if you don't manually defend a lot, right? If you don't use him as a right back, you just want to use him as a center back. But I genuinely think that he really excels when he has got that extra little bit of pace to be able to like launch counterattacks, right? You still have the defense capabilities, the tackling, the aggression, the awareness, everything is still there, but you've got 86 um, acceleration. And on top of that then as well, you're going to have 70 type possession that you'll be able to play a little bit of ball with him. Now he does have one touch pass, so we don't need to worry about the low passing. So then it's pick your poison if you want one more into defense or else you can put a couple of more into aerial or else you can put one more into dexterity to have 87. I would probably, you know, have one of those builds as my uh, option if I was going down that route. We can also get a bit more into stamina and speed. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. Um, we'll be, have a good few videos up today, but that is the IX pack reviewed and training guides for ideal player training. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be, I will be back soon. Peace.